Hey guys, welcome back to uh, my episode 3 of Make an RPG. Uh, today I'm going to be covering, in the next few episodes also, I'm going to be covering uh, how to create items. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is start is setting up a system for all items, but uh, setting up so you can randomly create them. Um, there are ways in uh, randomly create them, but also uh, you can actually make specific ones. There's I'm going to be doing this all through uh, C Sharp classes, but you can actually do it. You can create items in in an XML file and read them uh, in your game, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'll probably cover that later on. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder, and our it's the same uh, program, uh, same Unity project before. And create a new folder. I'm going to call it uh, items. And in items, I'm going to create a uh, new C Sharp script, and I'm going to call it base item and basically we're gonna have the same structure we're gonna do all the inheritance and stuff like we did the classes so this first one is just going to this first base item is just gonna list a few things that every single item is gonna have in common so right away we know we're gonna have an item name so we can string item, uh, item name um, We'll get. We know we're gonna have a um, item description, so we can do uh, a string an item description, and then we're gonna give it uh, two more things. One, we're gonna give it an integer, and we're gonna call it item ID. That's just a random value. I uh, just a value. Maybe you can use uh, to uh, keep track of all your items when they're created or something. Um, and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a public enum. And we're gonna call this item types. Now the reason why I'm doing this is so we can list every single type of item we're gonna have. So for instance, we're gonna have equipment. Uh, now this is equipment can be anything like uh, shoulder pads, uh, chest piece, helmet, anything like that. And then we're gonna have weapons. Uh, we're gonna have let's say scroll, potion. Yeah, potion, and then we can like let's say chest, and I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. Um, so these are the basic things that we we're gonna have in our game. I need to create a private variable real quick. Uh, private. It's gonna be of type to item types, and it's gonna be item type. So now that I did this, we need to create our public setters and getters. So we're gonna go public. Oh my goodness, public. And we're gonna do uh, string, and we're gonna do item name, and we're going to get return item name, and then we're gonna set uh, item name is equal to value, and we're gonna copy this. Um, again, I'm holding Control and using the arrows. Control C to copy, and we're going to paste. And then I'm going to go up here and grab item description, and we're going to go in here and paste these in because we need. So I set it up, and just a reminder: the the getters and setters allow allow us to read and write to these uh, private values. It's just another way instead of using like a static value. So now we're going to do the item ID. It's going to be an integer. And I'm gonna capitalize that. Oh shoot, copy something by accident. Copy, paste, paste. And then the last one we're gonna do is a public item uh, item types. So we're using, we got a public item types, which is from our public enumeration item types, and it's gonna be item type. And here we're going to do um, all right, another getter. I'm going to actually just go up here and grab it. So we're doing our same getters and setters, and we're going to grab, copy. And here we go. We have our base item. Uh, so basically, every item is going to start with this base item. It's going to have a name, a description, ID, and then it's going to have an item type. And then from there, we're going to further narrow down our list. So the next script we're actually going to write today is going to be a uh, base stat item. 
And what I mean by this is that not all these are going to have stats, right? So the two that are going to have stats right off the bat are going to be equipment and weapons. So these are going to inherit the base weapon class, uh, item is going to inherit from a base stat item class. It's going to inherit from our base item. And I know that sounds confusing, but I'm going to show you that right now. So we're going to control S to save, and we're going to go back to Unity. And I'm going to create another C Sharp script, and we're going to call it base stat item. I'm going to open that up in Mono Develop. Again, we don't need Mono Behavior, but we are going to inherit from base item. We're going to get rid of these functions. And right away, we're just going to go in and start making our privates private variables. So we have a private int in stamina. Well, That was one of the uh, stats we wanted. Private int endurance was another one. Again, you can have whatever you want. You know, This is just what I'm doing to show. You can do whatever you want. Int strength. And then we'll do private int intellect. Now, to save some time, I'm going to open up. I'm going to go back to Unity. I'm going to open up our base character class. And I'm going to copy these getters and setters just so I don't have to retype them. Right? Okay, so here we go. So now we have, we've written two scripts. We have our base item script and we have our base stat item script, which inherits from base item. So I'm going to control S to save again. And now I'm going to write one more script on this episode and then I'll probably end it. We're going to create a new C sharp script and we're going to call it our base weapon script. Uh, base weapon. I'm going to open that up in Mono Develop. So in Mono Develop, again, we don't need this Mono Behavior. So we're going to, but it's going to inherit from base stat item. Now remember, this base, this actually comes from. So this script is actually coming all the way from our base item, and I'll just write out. So it's good base weapon base stat item and then base item so this is this is a classic example of inheritance and here again we're going to get rid of these stats or those functions because they're only in uh, they're used in mono behavior and so now we now we got to think of what's specific to a weapon well we do know we want a weapon type so we're going to make make another enumeration we're going to call it weapon types and here you can list uh, or we're going to list all the types of weapons that we want in the game and you know for your project you can list as many as you want so we're going to do sword for the first one we'll do a staff a dagger what uh, a bow what's oh, another weapon a shield and let's think of one more. Uh, sword, staff, dagger, bow, shield, and I guess we'll do a. Um, I can't even think right now. A uh, pole arm. There we go. So we have right now. We just made six weapon types. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna go private weapon type. It's gonna be weapon of, of type. It's gonna be weapon type is of type weapon types. Hard to say. And then we're going to make our public setters and getters. So public weapon types. And it's going to be weapon type. Here we go. We got our getters. We're going to get and we're going to return weapon type. Oop. And then we're going to set. So here we go. Now let's think what else do we want our weapon to have. So right now we're getting all of our, from this we're getting all of our stats, we're getting uh, the what type of weapon it is, and then we're getting uh, its name, description, and ID number. So maybe we haven't created any spell effects, but let's leave it in here just in, for the future. We'll just make it an int for right now, and we'll call it spell effect. So maybe we want our weapons to all have spell effects. I think that'd be pretty cool. So we're going to make, again, we're make another public, and we're going to call it an int, or it's an int and it's spell effect. Maybe this is a spell effect ID, that's what we'll call it. 
So we remember we can go later on uh, down the road. We can add an actual spell effect. Um, okay. And again, we're just going to do our getters and setters. So we're going to return spell effect, and then we're going to set our spell effect. And just copy that real quick. Equals to value. All right, so now, so in our next episode, I'm going to create uh, more of our base item types. So we're gonna have, we're gonna make equipment and make a scroll and potion, and we're gonna make all those basic functions. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, concerns, write them below, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.